Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you the best eggs that I have ever eaten. These are duck eggs, and they're definitely range-free, and they look like they look like this. I ate a couple already, and I fed chakra some. It was good. Hey? <laughs> She's still licking her lips. <laughs> and um, this one was huge. That was a big egg. But um, these eggs are so bright orange. Wait till you see them. Check that one out. That one's blue. <laughs> and incidentally, I'm shooting in high def today so that you can see how good these eggs look. But um, I got the pan all heated up here. And yes, that's an iron pan, which is what I prefer. And you have to really crack it hard because these shells are hard. And that does not surprise me. You now, the difference in quality between the range free and the non range free is so huge. Look at how orange that egg is. Look at that. Really, really orange. And all that pigment is coming from the greens and the bugs and all that that they're eating and they get to run around. I mean, imagine if you were a duck, how much happier you'd be in a pond and in the grass and this and that, or a chicken, versus in forced to stay in a cage or in a barn, you know, which is how it oftentimes is. But I'm going to show you how I prepare these eggs. And yes, there's plenty of B12 in these eggs, so I don't have to worry about that at all. Um, you know, you can you can put a lot of different things on eggs, but what I like is a little bit of sea salt, and I like this gray sea salt from France, and some garlic powder, and chipotle. Man, I just Come out of there, Chipotle. Chipotle. To give it some fire. Does that look good or what? So I'm going to let it cook just a little bit longer there. And to tell you that in order to get good quality, healthy country foods, you've got to get out to the country. Okay, so... I'm trying to push progress here because, see, I know that we can't make the city healthy. <laughs> They'll maybe figure that out someday, but for the most part, what people need to do, people that want to get really healthy, they need to figure out how they can at least get out to a small town to start and then work their way out of that town outside of the town into the country where they've got a well and clean air and when you do that make sure that the house that you move into whether it's a rental or you're buying it make sure that that is not right on the road it needs to be back quite a ways from the road so that there's no fumes from the cars going by even if a car only goes by once every minute. I mean, there's generally quite a few diesel trucks, and you know what that smells like. Pew! So, what you want it to look like is this. <laughs> you want it to sound like this. And then you want, like, ducks running around all over the place. <laughs> or you want to be able to go and, and get your duck eggs from somebody that lives around you. Okay? It's working, I'm telling you. I know all this is working for me. 
I am getting healthier and healthier. And it's going to take time because I lived in the spew of auto fumes for 49 years. Okay? So I've got time. I'm just going to take my sweet ass time and eat eggs like that. Sun is side up. And the final kicker <clears throat> for the eggs, for the egg, is some salsa. And, uh, and I've got some arugula too. Now this nut is not the freshest arugula. But I put some olive oil and a little bit of apple cider vinegar on there. And now I am going to put some raw olives. Yummy. So mega nutritional, mega mega nutritional eggs and meal right here, right here for me. Mm -mm. Really good. So I want to thank you for joining me. Hope you're well. Bye.